including this psoas this point in cancer this psoas that i need to paint with another video about Sensua ai Sensua ai is an application that i will use to actually put to work 12 ai helpers basically an ai workforce that's programmed to learn your business your organization and help you get great jobs done and so when i jump into this app today we're going to be talking about um, how to actually schedule um, events in your busy calendar with this employee named busy and busy can do many administrative tasks the one we're going to focus on today is actually engaging your Google Calendar. You can also do Outlook Calendar. And the way that we connect our calendar is you go to this AI Brain. And if you notice, there are AI integrations. And so right here, you see LinkedIn, Facebook, all of those. We'll do separate videos on those one day. Um, but right here is where now it says default because it's already connected to my calendar but um you can hit up your outlook email through microsoft right here if you have outlook but i just have gmail so we're going to go back to our home we're going to go down to our home of busy and um the next thing I want to show you, here's our overview. I already showed you what you can do. Um, I showed you this right there in the background. I'm going to show you how to add events or to have busy add events. I also have the lead events back to you and what my listing should be for this app. So, how do we add events? We add events pretty much asking you to <laughs> you write a prompt I'm going to I'm going to put a prompt on add an event to my select my calendar calendar or I just have the event scheduled so we'll go to my workspace open it up go to my blog blog well let me start there I think that should be it let's see blog just came up The event title is Freshers and Blossoms I mean calendar for our freshmen. Okay. So I'm gonna see what she said. So I'm gonna go to my calendar. Where is it? creating an event she asked me to do a hot so basically it'll pop up with this event is called freshers and blossoms camp um the time has been set i gave it the time i can read it off the screen this looks kind of weird but it normally sets it in the right place so it says that it's starting 3 16. oh that's why i can come in here to 2 p.m which is 14 i can do that all right, so let's see if this works. Approve. It has been successfully added to my calendar, and I'm going to see if I can add 
Okay, so yeah. This girl is not too bad. This is bad. Well, that's just how you can create evil on your Google Calendar. I do this also on the fly with my computer and with my phone. So what I'll do is have the app open. Yeah, have the app open. And then when I hold down on, on an iPhone, right here is a microphone. And I can actually talk into the microphone and give her a task on the fly. So if I miss a client and after I leave them, I have a list of like three things I need to schedule on my calendar. I just pick this microphone, talk into my phone and tell her all the details that are typed. I can just say them and put sayings and she'll do them, give me the opportunity to just read it and put it in. So let me make sure I answered all of my questions. Oh, I showed you how to add. I need to show you how to read it or how she reads it as she. <laughs> that one. That is so weird. What are my events for this day? calendars connected so I think it's pulling from all of my calendars so I have prayer on Thursday and Friday so today I am supposed to make it myself together um 9 30 9 to 9 30 um to do like my morning touch up and it's just giving me a note that I created this on another app that I was using um before I found this one, um, which is not really good, how it does it, handling the um, calendar. I do like it, though, because it switches up the time. Like if it's, if you, um, it's got canceling appointments, it'll go ahead and put something else in that time slot and rearrange the whole calendar around for each client. And I put a link to it on the comments. Um, laundry, of course. Yeah, that could be an all-day event, but just so I know, I need to do it. Lunch, and um, I have a meeting scheduled on such and such. So that's how reading your events happens. You tell her what time is that and what day. It could be the week of, and she'll pop the week out for you. So let's make sure I'm coming up on five ten. It is kind of late where I am, and I'm trying to be quiet. wish list for this app would be um, that the recurring events would work better. Um, I have a few challenges getting that done. I'm sure it's just knowing what to put where to make it work. So if I figure it out, <laughs> um, I will come back and share that with you. My second being that I wish to have app that an app would allow me to to my calendar through Sensia and then maybe even program my Wi-Fi to alert me of my day's event in the morning that I don't forget to have all of these in. Um, as a virtual assistant would really do a excellent job. And then I showed you how to make things on my wish list. Oh, I do have one. I wish that I could add chat from people in there. That would be cool. If we could do chats instead of having to um, events. But I actually like.
black reason because I do put on black ink in between this block for specific activities. So I can like it, but it was enough that I was like, you know. So again, I'm Celeste McCunk from Hamburger Celeste. I happened onto this software. I have been using it for the past two, a little over two weeks. And I'm loving how productive it is making me and all the cool things I can do with it to save me time and energy. And um, also, um, I'll be coming back next week with another AI helper to show you what that one can do. All righty. Thanks a lot. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope this was helpful um, in the comments or I'm not in the comments, in the description. There's um, links to try the software as well as I'll drop the link for Reclaim and any other tools that I use to help keep myself organized. All right. Thank